What would you say if I told you that this jet engine, um, n not not that one, this one, that this jet engine produces enough power to get four people off the ground vertically? Do you think it's possible? No. No, I'm I'm serious. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Do you think it's theoretically possible? <laughs> The Bell Jet Ranger, the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, one of my favorite helicopters. In 1971, the 206B had a maximum takeoff weight of 3,200 pounds, and it was powered by a 317 horsepower Allison 250-C20 turboshaft engine. So why do I say it only takes 40 pounds of jet thrust to get this helicopter with four people on board off the ground? Well, let's look at the performance ratings. In this case, of the C20 engine that's rated at 400 horsepower, not 317. Specifically, we're looking at the jet thrust in pounds and newtons. The Allison 250 is split up in two parts. The first part is the gas generator, the gas producer. It generates 40 pounds of jet thrust coming from the N1 turbines right here. That 40 pounds of thrust goes into the free turbines, the power turbines, which turns a reduction drive and ends up at 400 horsepower coming out the output shaft. Basically, a gas generator turbine outlet, 40 pounds of jet thrust comes from here. Power turbine inlets, 40 pounds of jet thrust goes into here. A different way to look at it is you have 40 pounds of jet thrust going into the power turbines here. And between the power turbines and the reduction drive and the gearbox and the main rotors, this helicopter is producing over 3,200 pounds of lift. 